to you today is how our rainbow colors pull out and what happens when you pull them with the grain or against the grain. And the first thing you might want to know is which way does the grain run? When we're looking at the rainbow, this is the top of the sheet running down through the colored bands down to the bottom of the sheet. The grain is going to run with the rainbow. So it's going in this direction. So if I cut a piece off and I pull it with the grain, I pull it in this direction, what I'm going to end up with is some clumping of the grain, of the dichroic coating. If I pull it against the grain, cut a piece off and I pull it in this direction, then I'm going to get the splinter effect. So I've cut out two one inch squares out of a strip and I know that my color bands are running this way on the glass so that's the way the grain is also going to run so on this first piece I'm going to punny it top and bottom and when the grain develops it will be running perpendicular to my punny handles and that's the way I'm going to pull it and by pulling against the grain I'm going to end up with the splinter effect on the second piece I'm going to punny it on the sides and heat it up and pull with the grain and I'm going to end up with my dichroic film being more clumped. So I'll start out with this first one. Okay, so once again on this piece, I want to pull against the grain. So I put it at the top and the bottom of this one inch piece. And I'm going to heat it in the flame. And you'll start to see the grain running perpendicular to the punties. You can see it's starting to develop right there. I pull against the grain, I'll get the dichroic film to splinter. The next piece I'll pull with the grain and you'll see that it clumps. There again is a shot at the grain. So if you cut a sheet up and you can't remember which way the colored band is running, once you start to stretch a piece out, you'll know if it's going to splinter like this did or if it's going to clump. So there's number one. I'm going to punny up number two. So here's our second piece. And this time when the grain starts to develop in the flame, you're going to see that the grain is running in the same direction as my punties. So you can see it a little bit there. So when I start to stretch this out, you're going to see more clumping of the dichroic film. There's a good shot of the grain running in the same direction. Okay, keep this up and pull it out. Now you're obviously going to see this effect more in our Rainbow 3, our splinter glass, and you're going to see it in the Rainbow 1 and Rainbow 2, but they should work pretty much the same way. And as you pull it out you can see that the dichroic clumps and pulls apart. So there you go. Have fun.